So this is going to be a very quick and dirty recording. I've just heard that Omnivore is being absorbed into Eleven Labs, and that means that the service will no longer be active in its current form. So that requires a change of workflows. Now, as some of you may have seen, I have already been using Readwise to import my books. And for that reason, it just makes sense for me to migrate to the service because I've already paid for it. So some of you might want to find other services, but for those who want to move to Readwise, this is how I'm going to approach it. Now, the first thing you need to do is to update your email addresses for any subscriptions that you have. So you can see that I have updated it for Substack and Stratechery, and there's a couple more I still need to do. How do you find those emails? Well, if I click on my profile down here and I go to my emails, I get my email address and I can say, see all my subscriptions. Now you can see here, well, I can see that all of these, well, most of these are actually from Substack. So that just required me to update my Substack email address, but this Ben Thompson Stratechery, and there's another one here, Oliver Berkman, those I still need to go, well, I need to update the Oliver Berkman one. So just to, just a helpful note to know where you need to change your subscriptions. Okay. And then what you want to do is go to your account and then export data over here. So once you export your data, you'll get an email, which will give you a download link. And then if I go to my downloads folder, I get this zip file over here. Then if I go to readwise and I go to or read.readwise.io and then integrations, uh, I have this option here to upload my zip from that Omnivore account. And that is what I'll do now. If you don't have Readwise, check in the description below. I've got an affiliate link, which I haven't really advertised much before because as I say, I was using Omnivore. Okay, so now I want to upload that and then choose the file and boom, my zip is uploaded. And the cool thing here is that all of my inbox items, which is still my inbox, my inbox, and all of the items which are archived are still in my archive. So that's a good first step. So it's a new day and a new shirt and I completely forgot to finish the video. But one of the things which I want to speak to is that historically I used Omnivore for articles, tweets, emails, substacks, etc., because it would import them into a separate Omnivore import page with all the items as blocks in that separate page, which enabled me to like manage the workflow quite nicely. I've spoken about this before, the Readwise import imports everything as separate pages, which is not my personal preference. However, at some point I have to get over this and this is now the point. So LogSeq is also making changes to the database version, which I think will make this a little bit easier to manage going forward. And I might release a video as I figure out like how I've updated this thing to like make sure that I keep things orderly and in a good stack. But for now, everything is just going to be imported into a separate page and that's okay for me. Just something to speak to on the Readwise side is that they, all the labels that I had in Omnivore are also now, or are now tags in Readwise. So that might enable me to have some structure that manages this workflow, but I haven't quite figured that out yet. And I will do so hopefully shortly, but hopefully this is a good enough intro for you just to see that it's very easy to migrate from Omnivore. The final thing I have to say is a massive thank you to the Omnivore team, Jackson and Hongbo, for building and supporting such a great product over the last few years. I really wish you the best of luck in your new adventures with Eleven Labs. And yeah, they have nothing but praise for what you've done. Thank you so much.